Battlefield Podcast. Okay, so we are now going to install a capture card and hook up the Xbox 360 to the PC. That's the plan. Let's see what happens. So here is the bootay from today. We got Warfighter and that's going to be the test game. Put that aside for now. And this is the card that I bought. It's the Avermedia um, Aver TV HD DVR. It's a PCI Express card. Comes with um, a dongle. It basically has a HDMI input and an input for this dongle where you can hook up all sorts of other devices. And uh, the price was right. The hundred bucks. And supposedly, from what I've read, this should do the job fairly well. So let me pop this thing open. Hey, I'm doing this kind of awkwardly because I'm holding the phone with the other hand. I didn't feel like digging out the actual video camera, so. And it appears to be the card. This is the dongle I was talking about. So it lets you hook up um, S-Video, Component Video, RCA stuff, um, pretty much anything. So the nice thing is I'll be able to maybe take some of those old VHS tapes from family vacations and put them on the computer as well. So we won't need this at the moment. Really, all we're interested in is this guy. Uh, and as you can see there is the HDMI input that we'll be using for the uh, 360 to connect to. Apparently the 360 is fairly easy to connect to. Um, when if you're dealing with the PS3 you have issues with HDCP and stuff there's ways around that supposedly but it's more annoying than the 360 so hopefully we shouldn't have any problems with that next step now is to uh, crack open the case down here and insert the cart so I know I said I was going to show you this part but I figured while I was down here I might as well show you the absolute best way to not work on your computer which is to just sit on the floor, prop it up with your foot. Um, don't do this at home, kids. But this guy here is the card installed into the PCI Express slot. And uh, back here, right about there, is we're going to be hooking up the Xbox in a few minutes. Okay, so now that uh, the hardware has been installed, the Xbox has been connected. Uh, we'll fire up this Aver Media Center 3D. I have not done this yet, so this is literally uh, the first go around. So we'll see how this is going to work. Uh, set up wizard. Sure. There's the card. Um, I had to install the drivers. They came with the software. I didn't show you that stuff because that's kind of boring. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it looks okay. Finish. Uh, what do we have? So I've got it connected to HDMI. Now, the Xbox isn't on yet, but I'm going to turn it on now. We shall see what happens. Oh, well, that's a good sign. So now basically I've got a small TV inside of here. I'll make this full screen. Ah, okay. Maybe double clicking. There we go. I have a feeling I need to tweak something with the audio because I have not yet heard anything. Oh, dreaded update. So, here's something interesting that I just found out. Apparently, if you run an XSplit, which is what I'm using to record this at the moment, before you start Aver Media Center, which is the application that comes with the card and lets you run, you know, it's basically pretending to be the TV screen, then the audio in the Aver Media Center won't come through, and I couldn't hear it in my headphones. And I just 
absolutely was about to go crazy and 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 googling and all kinds of shit until I finally came across an exploit forum post. Um, now apparently, as long as I start exploit afterwards, it's all good. So here is the more fighter demo, not demo, it's a full game. And my cat wants to come in. And, as you can see, it's now acting just like any old Xbox would on a TV screen. Except that I can play it on my computer monitor, and I can capture it, I can record it, I can do whatever I want with it. Which is pretty slick, actually. For a hundred bucks, this card's not bad. Now, the one thing that I have heard about was the potential of input lag. Um, I was told by... Lots of forum posts that that may be a problem, but I've also had people tell me that there was no issue. I haven't really noticed any, um, so I suppose we probably won't see that until we actually get into a game. Now, I just created my account. I got nothing unlocked at all, but I just want to jump in here and see if I can discern any input lag at all. And also to see what it looks like in the recording. I also didn't spend much time maximizing the screen or anything. I'm just playing it as is. Like I said, I was in the middle of troubleshooting the damn audio problem. Stupid exploit. Should have known. I should have known. It's nice as the load on the CPU is very low because it's not actually doing any of this rendering. It's just basically being a display. So it's definitely a bad thing. Away team. Home run. Home team. Defense. Let's get it on. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it feels like. Go out. I do not even know what the buttons are. And then, oh, Grenade, it's get inverted. Down. Kick fire! Kick fire! I don't really see any input lag. Seems pretty fine to me. good to me. You should be expecting some live streams Our after kill. 360 from me soon then. I'm pretty happy with it so far once I figured out the next one. That's probably good enough for now, especially because I can't do anything. My capture. Away team gets two points. Away team is in the lead by four points. 